Sean, I'm going to come and start with you. I just wondered what it was that initially attracted you to, to Brian's script and to telling this this particular story. Well, it was reading it. I'm, uh, you know, the producer, Stephen Paul, called me up and said, I got this family film you should check out. And I'm like, OK. And I started reading it. I'm like, wait, what? I, I cannot believe what I'm reading here. And it was so just utterly shocking that I was like, I, I just think I should try this because it's just crazy and weird and I hadn't seen anything like it. But then, of course, when Brian <clears throat> agreed to do it and he was he was nervous at first like not even wanting to do it but he, when when he found his way into it when he found the portal in it brought it to a whole other level of sophistication and talent just all the people that wanted to jump on board at that point um was amazing but it was it was the story that that attracted me and then john drives bringing in real talented people will sasso jonathan reese myers bringing that level of talent forward is what makes a, a great movie yeah. So, John, what was it that, that changed your mind? What made you think, actually, this is a this is a part for me? Well, uh, I've never done this kind of piece. You know, I've never done this genre before. And uh, I was I, I was scared of, of it, you know, as to what it would mean, you know. But then with Sean, as I uh, talked with Sean about it, he has, as you can see, Sean has a wonderful, warm energy and full of... Uh, full of imagination and intelligence and, and storytelling uh, power. And he started talking about it and, and I said, wow, this is fun. This is gonna be fun. And, uh, and he stretched everything to make it, you know, very, very exciting really. Uh, and we, I, we, he would say, what about this? And I go, oh my God, that's, ugh. He'd say, he's, and then I, then I, he'd say, wouldn't it be great if we could do it? I said, oh, yes, it would be, Sean. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> anyway, he did, a, he, he did convince me in, in it, with his energy, but it's always a joy to work with Sean. And then this, this was no different. Uh, we all had a very good time working on it. We didn't, um, and it was a very peaceful set. And, the people got along very well and we cared for each other and all of that, all of the lovely positive things while we're doing this movie that, that turns so horrific. Uh, but it turns out to be a very, very um, uh, exciting movie to see actually, uh, if, you're, if, if you're strong enough to see it. <laughs> Yeah, Sean. Well, I mean, would you, family family reunions can often be such good stomping ground for great kind of cinematic drama. Why do you think that is? What do you think it is about that setting that just allows for so much kind of chaos to ensue? <laughs> well, Stephen, you're absolutely right. Family uh, reunions is, at least in my life, has been a sense of uh, tension sometimes. That look, you want to see everybody because it's been a while, but also. Gosh, the last time you were there, you had a fight or they argued or they said something off color and you're just like, oh, but do I really want to go through this? So I think it's a fertile ground when people see it, they'll say, I recognize that in me. But once they get there and it starts growing and growing and where the family's going at it with each other, I think that people are going to be really surprised. And I hope to scare the hell out of them when they watch it and go, well, at least my family reunions aren't that bad. Yeah. I didn't know you had people who would say something off color. Uh, at his reunions. I'm so glad to have that information. And that shocked him. That shocked him. <laughs> because, John, I mean, your character, he's one of those guys who just says whatever's on his mind. And I think deep down, we all wish we had a little bit of that in us. Was it quite cathartic in some ways to play a role of that nature? I suppose it was. I, I, I suppose it was. It, uh, th that character has a lot of power, actually. And uh, that's you know, you, you want to be the, the guy who has the power and sometimes. But the trick of this piece is, uh, is the, in the whodunit area, who, you know, to, uh, to play the part that I play, I could, eat, I could choose some scenery and, and become, uh, and ruin the story. Mm. So uh, that was part of the trick of it. But working with this group of actors that, uh, that uh, they cast for this, was quite wonderful. Great, great actors, you know. Uh, John Reese Myers uh, was somebody I'd wanted to work with a long time. And he's one of those actors that actors talk about and, and they're right uh, to talk about him. He's quite unusual. And then we have some people who are going to be stars in the future from this piece. Wonderful ensemble. Yes, I mean, Sean, you, you were sort of um, 
uh, mentioning about the kind of the pull of getting someone like John uh, John Voight into a production, how it can bring other people in. Just for yourself as a filmmaker, I mean, as someone of your age, you I mean you would have grown up and John would have been. I mean, some of the movies that John has got on his on his repertoire are some of the greatest of all time. Do you still, when you direct someone like John, so I don't mean to make you blush. Uh, do you, it's very uh, disrespectful. <laughs> Let, let's get right to it. <laughs> it's like it's like going to a family reunion and and you and you want to destroy the per persons who are sitting across the table from you. This is exactly what he. The kind of he no, no, but but I'm saying, do you still that's get? He's this... right for this piece. That's why. <laughs> but Sean, does that kid inside you still come out? Do you still get that excitement, thinking, "Jesus, I'm I'm directing a, a real Hollywood heavyweight"? Well, it, it does. The kid in me still comes out, but that's because John allows it to come out. He is so collaborative, and he and, and he's a story guy. He's not just a genius actor. He is on that story, and not just for his part either. He's looking at the whole story, which I so appreciate because if we're all building that story up, then the film can work as a whole. And he's really talented at at that story and understanding nuance and making sure that we don't go you know over the edge, but we could take it right up to the edge. And and that's what I enjoy work with an actor like John that does that. He also, he does it with me as a director. He does it with the entire cast. I mean, he makes them, first of all, feel very at home, very uh, warm so that he's approachable. And then that just unleashes their talent to say, I want to work with him. And, and then he's so encouraging once they do it. And especially with our younger uh, actors, um, he, he just opens their world so that they give their best performance. And that's, that's truly what makes a very great set and something wonderful to work on. Mm -hmm. and john, john i'll come to you first but this is sort of but for both of you really but i'm going on imdb statistics here so it could be a tiny bit off but sean it's given you 83 directing credits and john you've got 100 acting credits but even if that number isn't completely spot on it just shows how both of you how prolific you both are i just wanted to know what do you think the secret is to longevity in in hollywood in this industry well i i don't i i, th I think um oh but that's a that's a funny question uh, what's the secret to longevity? I, I don't know. I think you have to be blessed. I think, you know, everyone who has a gift, we all have gifts, everybody, nobody's different. You know, we all have something special. Each one of us is unique. Uh, and when you get a talent and, and the talent is surrounded by some loving energies. So that talent comes, comes forth. That's, that's the event, you know, uh, like in this film, there's going to, some people are going to come forth from this experience because of this experience. Do you see? And uh, but I think I think you're for for me. I've had a lot of people help me throughout my career, and I've and I've uh, I've I've had a lot of encouragement at times when I got down, and uh, and I think I've just been fortunate. I think I think there's been. God's been good to me a little bit, taking care of me. And I, and I, I'm fumfering around because it's a very difficult question for me to answer, but I don't know what the answer to longevity is, except you have to be very fortunate. You have, you know, you can talk about genetics, you can talk about a lot of other things too. But uh, in terms of the, the work, I think the energy to keep going, keep being surprised, Keep being available to change, to 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 have the courage to to to, to uh, experiment and try new areas. All of that. I think in my career, uh, I've changed. I used to be a kind of a cute young younger actor, and then I took a movie called Runaway Train, and I became a kind of a a, a force, a physical force. And that changed me, and I started doing. A, 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 had a whole different career. I played in Heat. I played. Uh, with uh, uh, Ray Donovan, I was able to open up Anaconda, all these things I did, I became a different aspect too. So uh, I, I, I was able to change in my career. So mm. that's part and has of it. it. Has it ever felt like a job in all these years? Has it always maintained that sense of, of magic? Is, are you as excited by projects now as you were when, when you first began? Yes, I am. I, I, when somebody, every time I've, see some of the, and by the way i don't like to repeat myself for some reason i don't like to do what i did you know what i mean i like to find something new within it and i think maybe that's part of my success uh i i uh, I, I always want something to be uh unique different and discover something 
and then, then I'm into it. And I, and I am very excited when I find something where it challenges me and I don't know how the heck I'm gonna do it, but I'll put myself to work and little by little, I'll find some answers. And then if I'm fortunate, I have people around me like a good director like Sean, uh, something will happen. Brilliant, great okay. stuff. Sean, what about you? I, I agree with everything you said. And I, and I ultimately go, if, if you can as an artist, just love what you do because I love going to the set every day and directing. I love the pre-production process. And when you really do love it, there's gonna be ups and downs, but uh, like in anything, when you love what you do, you just keep going at it and it's fun every single day. And like John said, is, is, is finding the nuance of great things in everything. Every film you do has something to offer and something to learn and to get better at. So if you love what you do, it's, it doesn't feel like work. It feels like we're going out and we're having a great time and we're playing and, you know, and then just work with the best actors uh, in the world and you, you got it made. Yeah, brilliant. Well, on that lovely note, thank you so much for your time today, guys. Best of luck with the release of the movie. Yeah, God thank bless. You. You're terrific. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah.